Hey everybody, what is going on? It's Megan and welcome back to the beautiful, lovely, big comfy couch. And in today's video, this is kind of long awaited because I've been having this for a few months now. I haven't got the time to give my official review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Harvey Musk candle from Better Roll Fragrance House, AKA Drake's line of candles. If you wanna know my thoughts and opinions, and if it's worth your point or not, then of course, keep on watching. When I got this candle, I was super excited because I really thought that it was going to take a while for me to get it because I thought that, you know, Drake is a huge rapper, a huge performer, artist, because I thought it was going to sell out. But to my surprise, my first attempt, I was able to get it. So I'm thankful about that, but I'm really kind of surprised that I'm not hearing more about it due to his you know his status but i guess candles are really not everybody's jam i mean it is pricey the price of carby musk oops there we go is 80 dollars. so it is pretty pricey so i don't blame people for not wanting to spend that much but i'm a huge drake fan so i'm thinking of it as a novelty item just in case he ups and just doesn't want to do this anymore i would like to try to get all i think there's five of them either five or six of them i mean not at one time of course but along the way when you order the candle this is the box that it comes in just a regular box sorry my box has a salsa stain on it like i don't know how that happened we're not going to get into it i don't want to bore you guys but this is how it comes packaged when you open it the candle comes in like this so voila so beautiful and the coolest thing about this packaging is that they give you a gold sharpie to be able to write whatever you want underneath the candle you know put whatever you want around the candle whatever your heart desires you could draw all over it make the whole thing gold but yeah let me just show you real quick it's just a gold sharpie but yeah, I think that's the coolest part of the packaging overall. I plan to just write my name or do something because I really only burn it sometimes because I feel like I want this to like last. I'm not going to try to keep it forever. That's a habit that I have. Expensive things, I tend not to use it because I want to have it forever and ever. But I'm not going to do that with this. I, it's just that I have so many other different candles. Sometimes I'm in the mood for this. Sometimes I'm in the mood for something else. That's really all it is. Just to get into the actual packaging of the candle, it's it's absolutely beautiful. It's heavy, even without the wax in it, it feels like very sturdy. Look how thick the glass is for the jar. You have Carby Musk 4, and that's why I was so confused. I'm like, why does it have 4 underneath? But when you order it, it makes sense now, because you could put a name, you could put, even if you want to buy this as a gift, I think it would be a good idea. You could write their name on it, whoever the recipient of the gift would be. So I think that is such a cool packaging um, element. But otherwise, you have his signature right here on the back and Better World Fragrance House. And let me show you guys the box as well, just so you get a full picture of what the packaging look like I showed you guys the front already it has the icon well it has the logo I don't think you'll be able to see this because it's just embossed and you have better world and then fragrance house on the side and I also want to quickly just give like a size comparison I do know that it'll be important for some people to know how much candle they're gonna get for this price point as I mentioned this is $80 before shipping I don't think they charge tax but I will get into the specifics a little bit later but I just want to quickly give a comparison please excuse my candles some of them are done but you have Carby well you have Drake's candle line I'm they're all gonna be this size and this is a diptyque so as you can see let me try to make them more level. As you can see, it's pretty sizable. You get an extra two and a half ounces, I think. Oh wow, a diptyque is 6.5. I thought it was seven. So you get almost four extra ounces with this. No, actually you get five. 
no i can't add <laughs> 6.5 to 10.5 yeah you get four extra ounces so yeah that's pretty sizable so and a dip tea candle is like 70 bucks so price point if you like diptyque you shouldn't have any reason not to get this because you'll get a bigger candle yes it's ten dollars more in the technical but just get it veluspa candles come in a wide variety of sizes but again i'm just gonna show with the one that i have this is a size comparison with veluspa candles well this particular type and this one is does it say Oh, this is an 18 ounce candle this candle even though it's way cheaper was a waste of money because the wick drowns in it it's this big candle is a one wick candle do not get this size the ever so famous bath and body works now, this is going to be the one that everybody is more likely to have so that's a size comparison there a bath and body works candle is 14.5 ounces so again, like a four ounce difference. Bath and body is bigger. And lastly, I have a Forever Mood candle. And yes, uh, Forever Mood is 10 ounces. So you get a half an ounce more with this one. Let's get to the notes now. Now, on the actual Better World Fragrance House website, they don't go into real specifics for Carby Musk. They give you a really nice, elegant way of explaining it, but it says, Constructed unlike any other fragrance, Carby Musk is developed with trail air technology, which means it's made to linger in the air longer. The layering of sweet, velvet, powdery musks, along with musks of soft, floral, amber, and marine connotations, make it incredibly unique and a must have <laughs> hopefully i read that as elegantly as i feel like i sounded but probably not but we'll move on as the candle said it it basically smells like musk i mean this smells like a rich man point blank period i actually went to the revolve website because that's the next site that comes up when you google it so it basically said that it features notes of musk ambers cashmere suede and velvet sounds really luxe and luxurious i love it, it says that it actually smells like drake it's the personal fragrance that he wears and that is what inspired better world fragrance house it is also made in canada so to our neighbors to the north so that's pretty cool and it says the ingredients are a soy wax blend so it is a soy candle musk ambers cashmere suede and velvet so okay pretty much just like the description and the scent when it's cold it's really 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 nice my first impression of it was i mean exactly like it's described it smells like a rich billionaire who decides to smell like this all the time which describes it I do smell the suede. The suede is really strong in here and a little bit of the cashmere. I feel like the amber gets a little lost in my opinion, but you may think differently. I do feel like the scent changes a little bit when it's lit. So that is a downside. And this is of course, in my opinion, you're never gonna really know what something smells like until you actually smell it. But in my opinion, I do kind of feel like it's a different scent slightly when you um light it up um it does say that it has this um technology that helps it linger in the air my opinion i have to disagree with that a little i do think it lingers in the air but for the usual amount of time that a candle scent will linger because of course the wax is still warm i don't think it lasts in the air for hours upon hours just from what I experienced after it's it's blown out. The candle wick does mushroom, even it, that all candles I feel like do that. I cut it to a quarter inch, or at least what I think is a quarter inch short, I still feel like it does it. I really don't think there's any way you can get around it. If y'all know of what helps, let me know down below as always. It should fill the whole house, no matter what, because I feel like Bath and Body Works candles do that, but 
that is a three wick candle so that is something to always keep in mind too that's my opinion on the throw of the actual candle while it's lit now this is a very very masculine candle so if you like florals you like sweet you like fruity this might not be for you because it is it's straight up masculine there's no feminine element to this so i like masculine fragrances so this really speaks to me i love musky type scents as well this would be a great gift for a guy because most likely they will probably not want to buy it themselves but you never know i'm just saying yes it smells so good cold i wish that you could kind of smell it even when it's not lit but i i can't it's for the scent alone ugh, it's so nice when it's cold i wish it would translate a little bit better when it's actually lit as i mentioned at the beginning of the video the price is 80 dollars for carby musk that's before any other additional fees the downside to it in my opinion which i think it's very crazy the shipping amount was like 12 dollars for this candle I was like what just for this little candle yes it was $12 and it took like two weeks for me to get this candle it took forever to get a shipping notification so I'm not sure if that was just because they just launched they still had to work out like different issues regarding that so do keep that in mind as well shipped from Canada it's not like this is from overseas so I don't get what makes it cost so much I don't know if it's import stuff since it's coming from a different country i don't know but i just thought that was absolutely um crazy that it cost 12 bucks to ship one little candle this thing is not huge after shipping included with it i think the total came out to like 92 or 93 dollars expect to pay relatively high shipping costs would i actually recommend anybody to buy this is it thumbs up or thumbs down it's weird because I don't want to say this just because I'm a huge fan of Drake or anything. It really depends in my opinion. Just point blank, do I think it's worth the actual $80? No. And I'm going to say it because I don't think the throw of the candle equates to the price that it's that we're being charged for it. Do I think it's worth more than what normal candles cost? Yes, because I feel like the the scent and the actual packaging and everything it's really high quality what i would say is is that if you're a person you're you mainly buy bath and body works candles or if you normally buy candles from burlington or tj maxx or something you're not going to be impressed with this candle you're going to think you wasted your money i would say don't get carby try one of his other ones you will still kind of get the drake experience but on the other hand, if you're a person you love luxury candles like Diptyques, Le Labo, um, Byredo, then yes, I would say get it so you can try it for yourself. And like I said, if you're especially a huge fan like I am, I think it would be a good novelty piece to have. I would say get it if you're that person. I don't mind spending a little bit more if I get good quality. I bought this as a blind purchase because it's not sold in stores it's only online so how are you going to smell it so if you're a person that likes luxury a fan even if you're not a fan and you don't mind also masculine um scents i say get it just to try it out i don't think the throw even though it's important it's enough to give it a full thumbs down i give it a thumbs up but if you're a person you want to smell your candle all over your house just like i said do not buy it because you're not going to be impressed and you're going to regret spending almost a hundred dollars on this one candle that's pretty much all the major details about the candle that i could personally tell you as i said you're going to have to experience it on your own to gather your own opinion about it but ultimately i do think that it's a good candle for what it is if drake's pr team management anybody sees this i'm not trashing him drake is my boss i'm always support whatever he does so i'm going to be buying all of the candles at some point if i get to make it before he just stops doing it because i have a feeling he's not gonna do this forever so get one before it's too late <laughs> i'm telling you that's everything for this video y'all so as always 
please give me a like, comment, and subscribe. It's really important to me. Let's me know that you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out. I'm doing little things at a time to make it better quality. Hopefully the sound is better too because on my first video, but that was my first video too. So it's like, I'm not going to be perfect, but people are saying they can't hear me. I want to thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.